every scientist tends to have an obsession. My obsession is the blastocyst. And I just keep coming back because it's, it's fascinating. How do we get from an egg to a human being? The blastocyst is the first stage of, the, of development when the embryo has developed three cell types. It makes cells that make the placenta, it makes cells that make yolk sac, another membrane, and then it sets aside a group of cells, a very special group of cells, that are called the pluripotent cells. After we showed that in the mouse, the subset of cells are pluripotent and can make the whole mouse, then people realized if you could capture those cells and grow them in a petri dish and have them divide indefinitely, you would have stem cells that would have an enormous power. And if you did it not just in the mouse, but in the human, you would have stem cells that could make every cell type in the body. The reason we can even work with the mouse blastocyst is we have microscopes, and we can video the whole process of development. It's the tools that we use to see the embryo in beautiful colors all come from chemistry, people who've worked on developing all these amazing fluorescent colors. All the advances in microscopy come from physicists who've worked on pushing back the, the limits of the, the wavelength of light. It's amazing work. If we don't have fundamental science, we're not going to make the big discoveries. We're not going to make the technological advances that are going to keep humans moving forward. If you think about the big uh, technology breakthrough that everybody talks about right now, which is CRISPR-Cas genome editing, very simply, we can make mutations in the embryo and study their development. But of course, we know that CRISPR-Cas was not developed to cure human genetic disease. It was really developed to understand how bacteria fight off viruses. We need science, and we need to have the broadest base of fundamental science, because you never know where the next discovery is really going to have impact.